He is immortal. Born in the highlands of Scotland 400 years ago, he is not alone. There are others like him, some good, some evil. For centuries, he has battled the forces of darkness with holy ground, his only refuge. He cannot die unless you take his head and with it his power. In the end, there can be only one. He is Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander.
It's okay, I don't want to hurt you. This room's still real bold. No, no, they don't. It's okay. Uh, what are you doing? I, I'm just attracting some attention. Here. What is it? It's a kind of chariot. Where are the horses? They're under there. They're real tiny. I promise you'll be safe. A little farther over. Good. A little more. They come in from the other side. Pull from the side to the side. How could this have happened? None of this makes any sense. According to the driver, two men tried to rob him. But nothing was missing except the contents of the sarcophagus. There was nothing in the sarcophagus, Victor. It was Nefertiri's mummy, sir. I have the packing list right here. The list is wrong. Tell the police that nothing is missing. But the insurance covers it. There'll be no claim because nothing was stolen. Nothing. I don't understand, sir. You don't have to. traffic it takes a little getting used to. Oh, oh, oh. Duncan! <laughs> How are you? This is okay. It's Maurice. He lives on the boat next door. And bonjour to you, mademoiselle. Bonjour, Maurice. I knew it. The minute I saw you step out of the car, you have a certain je ne sais quoi that no French woman possesses. Maurice, Nefertiri is tired. She just got into town. Maybe you're hungry. I just made a coco vin for lunch. My mother's recipe. No, she's not hungry. Ah, then maybe I can help you with your coat. Are you certain he is your friend? Look, if there are anything you need, a tour of the city, perhaps. I was born and raised in Paris. This is my hometown. Maurice? Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, la la, quel fun! Maurice! has it been? About 2,000 years. Everything I knew is gone. My home, my world, my queen. Cleopatra? I was her handmaiden and a friend. I was sworn to serve and protect her. Well, Rome's a lot to take on, even for us immortals. 
Well, this is my world now. Teach me about it. Please. Where do you want to start? Um, here. It moves. It's a clock. Clock. It tells the time of day. Like a sundial. <gasps> it gives off light. Sure, you can go around slapping people, especially ones in uniform. Why not? Do you know what you're holding? Fifth Empire from Sagada. Very beautiful, very rare, unique. Very good. But it's more than that. It's history. It's who we were, who will be. And easily traceable. Anybody who would try to steal one of these would either be a fool or know the few collectors willing to buy and keep their mouths shut. Do the police have any suspects? They think it's someone who works in the museum. That might have held Cleopatra's facial oils. What do you think? Excellent piece, sir. I didn't mean the box. About the robbery? Well, it's beyond me. I'm not much of a detective. Humor me. Like two men tried to rob the van. Someone stopped them and took whatever there was in the sarcophagus. There was nothing in the sarcophagus. Right. That's what you said. Change the way some things have remained the same, and others are so different. Styles, manners. How am I ever to survive? Well, you seem to be doing pretty good so far. I do not believe it. I used to see that from my window at the Summer Palace. I have to know. To understand how did my world turn to this? Oh. So, if I understand this correctly, when the Roman Empire fell in 476, it will take a few years. Ah, uh, mankind went backwards into the dark ages. Then came the Crusades. There were seven or eight of them between 1096 and 1270. A bunch of noblemen decided it was a good idea to rape and plunder their way to Jerusalem. And were you one of them? 
Before my time. This is exquisite. That's the Renaissance. I think I would have liked it then. Ghost. Do they remember her, Duncan? Do they know how she saved Egypt with her wisdom and her beauty? And whole armies could not. Do they know her name? Everyone knows Cleopatra. She became the most famous woman in history. Would that I were with her in paradise. You sure? You may stop your work. I must speak to our queen. Forgive me, my queen. But I cannot go with you any more than I can stay behind. Everything we loved is gone. And now Rome will rule our world. And so I shall rest with you until all this is nothing more than a faded memory. Wait. Now you know why I didn't want you to go in there. You cannot protect me from the past. Go back to the office. I'll be down in a minute. He has come for me. I need a sword. Let her go. I said let her go. Who are you? I'm Duncan McLeod. I'm fine, Angela. Don't worry. See you again.
you are around. I am now that you have found me. Who was he? His name is Marcus Constantine. He is a Roman general. My enemy. I'm glad that I have you for a friend. Why not? Because you don't buy loyalty with sex. Cleopatra believed that the joys of the flesh could raise a man to godhood. This isn't ancient Egypt. It's Paris. And I'm not Mark Antony or Caesar. I am not asking you to die for me. Yet. Women never use sex to their advantage anymore? <laughs> Let's say hardly ever. Mm, I surpass myself. Moses, you'll get you nowhere, Maurice. <laughs> you look sensational. Me too. Uh, I mean, uh, yes. Well, aren't you going somewhere? Yeah, I have a few errands to run. It won't take very long. Then I wish to go with you. No, I don't think you do. You are going to seek Constantine. Don't worry, my cloud. I'll take good care of her. Yeah, I'm sure you will. You want to test? Cocova. You want to see me? Why, Victor? I beg your pardon. You come from a wealthy family. You don't need the money. Perhaps if I knew what you were getting at, sir. Bastard! Set up that robbery! If you have proof, go to the police. But you won't, will you? Your kind never do. What do you mean, my kind? Cloud. We'll finish this later. Yes, we will, sir. You treat all your help that way? What do you want? The question is what you want. I have no quarrel with you. If you want Nefertiri's head, you do. <laughs> so, she's found a new protector. Trust me, she doesn't need one. I'm her friend. Believe me, MacLeod. The last person in the world that I would want to harm is Nefertiri. I don't want to kill her. I don't want to kill anyone. Please. Come. Let me show you something. The biggest farce in the making of man's history is the notion that wars are fought to save civilization. I used to make history. Now I try to make sure it survives. I'm a historian, a curator. These are yours. Why the change? Rome. And what we did in her name. You should have seen it. The roads, the amphitheaters, the libraries. It was magnificent. We lived like kings. All except the slaves that made up most of the empire. Yes, that's true. We conquered nations so slaves could do our work for us. We became lazy. We stopped learning. Remembering. Those who forget history are bound to repeat it. Mankind does, again and again and again. That's why I teach, MacLeod. I don't kill. I have my work. I have a new wife that I love. Very much.
He'll be back. Don't worry. How about some cheese? No, thank you. I guess I just have a little piece of goat cheese, if nobody minds. Do you think you would ever be interested in an older man? I would not know. I have never met one. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. What matters is that I know who you are. What are you talking about? You're an obscenity that should have died 2,000 years ago. I do not know what you mean. Don't lie to me, you immortal bitch. Then McLeod, then Constantine. And to think all I came for was the Roman. <laughs> Three for the price of one. Is this what you want? It took me centuries to find her, too. And you did this for history's sake? She is history. Uncorrupted, living and breathing in our time. But that's not all she is. No. She used to be my world. I want to stay with you forever. Be careful what you wish for. It just might come true. Nothing must come between us. Nothing will. Nothing can. Not even war? There won't be a war. And if there is? I won't let them hurt you. It would not be about me, Marcus. But about my country. And my queen. Come here. Even our lives are too short to worry about things that will never happen. choice. He said he was going to kill me. And you. He knew I was an immortal. How is this possible? Later. Oh. You all right? Oh. What happened? I must have taken a nasty fall. Am I bleeding? No, you'll be fine. Ooh. But I think you should go home and get some rest. I thought I was dead. Uh, thanks for looking after my friend. Uh. For medicinal purposes. Oh. I've taken care of the body. Won't be found. So tell me what happened. Constantine must have sent him. No, he came on his own. I saw him at the museum. He works for Constantine. Constantine wouldn't hurt you. He told me that he once loved you. It was not me he loved. He loved Rome. Come to me and die! Enough! Leave us. Over, Nefertiri. What are you talking about? She was ordered to Rome in chains. My lady. Treated as a slave? Where is she? I must go down. You can't now listen to me. She's dead, Nefertiri. 
Cleopatra's taken her own life. Back to Rome with me. As your slave? As my wife. Never. I don't want to have to hurt you. Then die. betrayed me and destroyed everything I loved. He's changed. He still sees with the same eyes. The same heart still beats in his breast. He may have forgotten who he is, but I have not. He is still Roman. I am still Egyptian. Nefertiri, that was 2,000 years ago. I know, it seems like yesterday to you. What can I do, Duncan? See him? Talk to him. How can I? How can I without betraying everything that I am? Nefertiri, you're not Cleopatra's handmaiden any longer. Then who am I? What am I? Please, Duncan. I'm so lost. There used to be an immortal living in that chapel over there, a priest. Darius. I didn't know you knew Darius. He was my greatest enemy. <laughs> no, we were very good friends. There was a time I found it difficult to forgive him for bringing the gods to Rome. I couldn't forgive him for destroying everything I loved. So you do know how it feels? Ephateria. I'm glad you came. What is it you want? For you to live and be happy, and to convince you that I am not your enemy. And what do you call someone who lies to you and destroys everything you love? I defended Rome, you defended your queen. They're both long gone. Please, let this war be over. 2,000 years is a long time to hold a grudge. Nefertiri, please. This is a new chance for both of you. For all of us.
That sounds like uh, Sidney Bouchette's Soprano Sax. But the uh, phrasing's a little different. You know of Sidney Bouchette? It was a shame he left New Orleans. Well, New Orleans last was Paris's game. Must have been magic there. Yeah, as a kid, Louis Armstrong playing with King Oliver's band and Bichet wailing around the corner, they were great days. You sound like you were there. Maybe he was. Maybe his grandfather was. Some men never look their age. Show some coffee. Good idea. Darling? I'm so glad to get to know you. To be honest, I was a little nervous when Marcus told me you were coming. She was an amazing woman, Cleopatra. Her army was finished, the economy was in ruins, yet her people still ate, and she stayed queen. Was she as beautiful as they say? More. <laughs> I know you two were very close. We are not anymore, but I do understand how these things can be difficult. When I first saw you, I was a little jealous. Whatever for? The way he looks at you, I can tell you mean the world to him. I hope so. The whole world. Oh. Oh. talking about a life for a life Marcus Angela! Not what you wanted me to do after you destroyed my world. Not so easy, is it? I think you better get out of here. Live and be happy now. Get out, I said. I want you out of here and out of my life. Understood each other. What we could give each other. Give Nefertari, you don't give, you just trade. I have done nothing my queen would not have done. Your queen was saving a nation. You're not saving anything, not even yourself. You don't even know how close you are to losing your head. Marcus would not kill me. I'm not talking about him. You are like him. You make love to me. You make love to me, and then you betray me. Betray you? Yes. You use me to get in his home and kill his wife. This is not about you, Duncan. It wasn't about Angela either, was it? Get out. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I should have seen it. I should have known. It's my fault. I shouldn't have brought Nefertiri here. I thought that because I had changed, she could too. What do you do now? I mourn her. Do you mean do I avenge her? Bring her back? Would it change anything? In a way, she didn't kill Angela. I did. 
You know she'll be coming for you. It's over, Nefertiri. Let it go. Not until one of us is dead. Damn you. First, you have to kill me. I couldn't fight you 2,000 years ago, and I won't fight you now. Once, I used to love you more than life itself. Part of me still does. Then die loving me. <laughs> you cannot interfere in our fight! This isn't a fight, Nefertiri. It's an execution. Listen to reason. This has nothing to do with reason. It is about loyalty. I swore an oath to my queen, and it is all that I have left. No! The war is over! No. It has only just begun. Don't do this. You betrayed my love. Never. Betrayal is cause for death! <laughs> <laughs> Loyalty and love and nothing more than anger and fear! I have no fear! How can so much blood turn into so much hate? Sorry you had to kill her. I keep thinking there's something else I could have done. Could have died. What would Darius have said to you now? I don't know. I'll tell you. But you mustn't blame yourself. But she made it war, and you fought with a warrior's instinct that life always chooses life. That's what he would have said. Yeah. She was an extraordinary woman. Yes, she was. 